Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and I'm back today with a quick tip video and today I thought I'd show you something which I've been using on my Mac for quite a while now, almost a year I think and this is how you can enable the iOS charging sound on your Mac so for those of you who have iOS devices you'll know that when you plug it in so your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod Touch when you plug it in you'll get a small charging sound which is obviously also accompanied by the uh, battery symbol on the lock screen. Now if you own a 12 inch MacBook, if you're lucky enough to own one of those, then you'll also know that when you plug that in it will come up with the little charging tone and there's obviously been um, people who have been looking on the internet and trying to find out ways to enable this on other Macs and there's a way, obviously I've had it for a year so it's been around for quite a while but I thought today that I'd just share it with you as a sort of quick tip because I think it's a nice thing to have on your Mac brings it more consistent and in line with your iOS devices. So this requires using the terminal and what you'll have to do, you'll have to enter a, a, a long command line into the terminal which will tell the Mac that when the power cords are put in, trigger this. Um, it's actually an app built into OS X which isn't activated by default but what you, this command is going to do is let you tell the Mac to play this sound when the power cords plugged in. Now don't worry about the actual command, I will put that in the description of the video so you can just copy and paste it into a terminal window to perform the action. But before you do this, you do have to go ahead and unplug your Mac, make sure it's not plugged into the uh, either MagSafe or whichever connector you're using. So I'm just going to unplug mine and obviously the charging symbol uh, has now gone so it just has 100% with the battery there. So that's how you know it's not plugged in. And I'm just going to open terminal. So if I uh, go on spotlight search, so I hit command space, just type in terminal and hit enter to open a new terminal window. Now I've got a uh, text edit file down here with the command I need to use. So I'm just going to open that and obviously these two commands will be in the description. So the first one here I've got is the one to enable the sound. So if I just copy that, so I hit command C to copy that. And if I go into my terminal window, I hit command V to paste it. If I hit enter, what it's now going to do is just wait a bit and now it's going to have completed it. So when it comes up to the default um, command sort of starting line with your username, uh, which is what should be there, then you know it's done. So now what I can do, take my Mac power cord, so I've got MagSafe here, just plug it in and you'll be able to hear the sound hopefully. So that was the sound, I just plugged it in and obviously the screen uh, turned bright, I don't know whether you could tell that. And you can tell it's charging because the battery symbol now has a sort of electric, electricity bolt going across it. So now it's charging. So that's how you enable the chime. Now I'm going to show you how to disable it. So if you want to disable it down the road or maybe you just don't, you've uh, decided you don't want to have it anymore. Uh, or you maybe find it annoying. Or if you have a 12 inch MacBook and you're not really keen on having that either. Then you can use this command to get rid of that as well. So if I just go back into my terminal window, I'm once again I have to unplug the computer before um, attempting to change any of these settings. So I've just unplugged it now, so the battery symbol's gone back to the normal one. And I'm just going to go into my text edit file and copy the second command here, which again will be in the description. Hit command C to copy that, go back into my terminal window, hit command V to paste it in and hit enter and you can see it says done and it's gone back to my standard starting command line with my username there. So now if I plug my Mac in, you can hear the click, as you can see it's now charging because the battery has now got the electric bolts on it, but you didn't hit the sound so that's disabled it. So again you could use this if you decide you don't want the sound or you find it annoying, or if you have a 12 inch MacBook and you've never really been keen on having the sound there in the first place, then you can obviously do it like that. But that's basically how you can use a uh, terminal to enable the sound on your Mac. Obviously I've had it there for quite a while and I generally tend to have it on because I like having it and it makes it more consistent with my iOS devices. But anyway, that's it for this quick tip video. If you've got any questions or comments on this video or if you're having trouble um, completing the command, then do get in contact with me. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.